That was awesome. Nice job. So my name is Eric Magidson, and what I'm going to do is kind of jump off of what he said, and I'm going to help you with the tools you need because your life is a business. So I need some help from you guys. So let's prove that life is a business. So when it comes up, you guys should figure out what word I want you to say. Business, mind your own. Come on, you can do better than that. It's none of your. And my favorite happens to be, why are you all up in my that's right. So it is. Life is a business. And what I've done is I've used tools, business tools, to succeed. So we all want to succeed. Businesses don't start to say, hey, we're going to start a business so we can fail miserably. All right, maybe a couple. But the fact is we want to succeed. We desire to succeed. And what it takes is a plan. You need your vision statement. You need to know your team. We need a SWOT analysis. You've got to put together your plan and then when all of that's done, you got to execute. So how do we do all this? Well, we start with a vision statement. When you write a vision statement, you should be able to say who, what, where, when, and why. You should see it. You should feel it. What's it going to feel like when you walk across that stage to earn your degree? What's it going to feel like when you win that race? What's it going to feel like when you cross the finish line? Well, you've got to write it down. See, this is where most people miss it out. They don't write it down. Say, write it down. Say, write it down. You've got to write it down because when things get tough, you want to go back and you want to read that. You want to be inspired by whose words? Your own words. You've got to read it often. Take parts of it and put it on the mirror. What I did every morning when I got up, when I started a new goal, is I had words from that goal right there to inspire me as I got up. You've got to put people, the right people, on the bus. I know you all have read Good to Great, and if you haven't, it's all about putting the right people on the bus, people that are going to support and help you reach your goals. But as much as you have to put the right people on the bus, you also got to know who to kick off the bus. You got to know who to say, say that again, you're, that's right, you got to know who to fire. These are the people that told me, really, you're going to work full time, you're going to have a family, and you're going to earn a master's degree? It just can't be done. Well, what you have to do is you start with the SWOT analysis, and I don't mean spanking yourself on the butt and telling yourself to get up and get it done. We got to know what your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats are. So strengths, what strengths? Strengths are simple. What is it I'm good at? How am I going to be able to achieve the goal that I've set for myself? Well, it starts with good. What am I good at? How can I make the good work for the goal? Then realistically, we also have to look at the weaknesses. What are the things that are going to keep you from achieving your goal? Is it that you, like a lot of my students, procrastinate? How many people in here procrastinate? I've got you beat. Trust me. I can write a full MBA essay in three hours, okay? So opportunities. What is it you're going to gain? If you're taking on a goal, you're looking to gain something, right? Besides just Good, clean clothes. Hopefully, that's not a goal. Anyway, so what is it that from this goal you're going to gain? And then finally, what is it that you can lose? Be honest. Because when you take on a real goal, you're going to make sacrifices. And sometimes those sacrifices mean that you're going to lose something. Time, friends, whatever it is. Sometimes money. Your plan. Have you seen this before? What are you going to do with your plan? You're going to Come on, really? You guys don't get this yet? You're going you're gonna to write it down because when you get off the plan, you want to get back on the plan by writing it down. Now, when you write it down, make sure it's detailed because if you forget the details, you jump into a pool with no water. Do we agree? So make sure that the details of what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. The most important thing that my students forget is to schedule time. You see, I give them a week to do their homework, but still 98% of it seems to be turned in within the last four hours. Why? Because they didn't schedule time. You can't get time back. Now, another mistake that people make when, when you're ready to start executing your goal. Have you all seen this? January 1st, right? Everybody's at the gym. January 15th, no one's at the gym. It's because they just rushed right in. They dove off the stage head first. And you've got to make sure you just ease into your goal. Finally, the most important thing, and if you think you can reach a goal without this, you're just fooling yourself. You've got to be able to work your shh off. They said I couldn't say dirty words, but I tell my students all the time, you've got to work your butt off. 
Here's what I want you to do to finish this off. Say it with me. My life is my business. With goals I express, through plans I create, I earn my success. And I know you can too. Thank you.